So I want to start off this video by saying that the Hecate's never been bad, it's just that its balance has been directly dependent on how good the M107 is for the past few years. But as of right now, the M107 is kinda bad, it's slower than it's ever been, and it can't one shot up close, which is huge, because a lot of times people will try to flank you and you gotta be able to react quick. So, as a result, the Hecate is now probably the best 50 cal. Because ever since the M107 got introduced, they've had to compete for the top spot, and the Hecate was just kind of overshadowed. Because the M107 was just it but better, it was semi-auto, and it could do the exact same thing. But I believe they buffed the Hecate a bit to match, and now that the M107's kinda mediocre now, the Hecate's actually really good, I consider it one of the best snipers currently. So why would you pick the Hecate over something else? Well personally, I still feel that the Intervention is the best sniper because it is able to one-shot up to 150 studs and then one-shot head past that with high velocity, high fire rate, and great handling. However, what the Heke can do is that it is not too much slower, but it's able to one-shot all ranges, so you're able to play a support sniper role very effectively. So you're going to have issues taking on a lot of enemies close to mid-range, however you're going to be unstoppable in the 1v1 game at all ranges. But really just keep in mind that it does have a slow fire rate still, and the reload is especially long, so you really are kind of locked into playing mostly passively, like you could take on a couple enemies close to mid-range range, but you really don't want to be throwing yourself in the same situations you could with a faster sniper. You want to be taking advantage of what makes the Heke unique, the ridiculous long range potential. So pretty much the best maps and playstyles for the Heke is you want maps where you're not forced into a lot of close range engagement. Now don't get me wrong, the Heke is a great panic weapon for just deleting anyone who tries to pull up on you, but unlike stuff like the Intervention, R700, SVDS, you're not that good at taking on multiple enemies. So if you're in a match where you're playing like mid-range and there's like constant groups of more than two people, then you probably don't want to use a Hecate unless you have a lot of cover, because you're probably going to get better mileage out of one of those other faster snipers that can still one-shot at that range. But if you're playing in a game where most people are playing primarily mid to long range, then that's when the Hecate really shines, because you're able to win basically any 1v1 with it. Because although almost all the snipers can one-shot head all ranges, it's just an objective fact that you're going to be more consistent with torso shots. So if you're going to be playing primarily long range, yes, the Intervention is also a fantastic pick. However, the Hecate is a little better, especially if you're not having to deal with a bunch of enemies up close. Now, of course, with other snipers, you could just hit them with two body shots, or if you're really consistent with hitting heads, then you're going to want a faster sniper, because then you're going to be getting more kills. However, if you don't think you're that consistent at long-range fighting, and you're going to be wasting a bunch of bullets with another sniper, then you might as well use a Hecate, because you can aim for the torso instead, and just be a mid-to-long-range menace. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that the Hecate has ridiculous penetration, so as you see in, like, half these clips, Half of my kills are wall bangs because someone just marked them on the map and I just guessed. But the thing is, you can't really do that with other snipers. Maybe the intervention, but it only has 4 studs of penetration compared to the Hecate's 10. Oh, by the way, one more thing I gotta mention is that both Straight Pull Bolt and Roof Stock are a great choice in this weapon. And I actually use Roof Stock because personally, I feel that the Straight Pull Bolt is best on weapons that have a faster fire rate. So I use it on the intervention because by the time you're already bolted, you can already be scoped in again, ready for a second kill. However, you're not really going to have that situation with the Hecate, because you're going to shoot, run to cover, and then go back out again, because the bolt is just that long. So I prefer the extra handling speed. But just try it out. It's all up to you. That's just something I noticed in my experience. But yeah, that's about all I had to say about this gun. I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about the Hecate, because I think it's in a really good place right now, and you should try it out if you haven't used it in a while. So yeah, uh, see you later, and uh, subscribe.